Cooling for 24-7 comfort on call. Well, hello, Brad. Who's your slippery, slithery friend? What is this? Well, it's a snake. That's my guess. Really? It is not a snake. Come on. It is a, a leg. Eel. It is a legless skink a on what? the sparsely skink. wooded slopes from the second tallest mountain in Angola, which is in southern Africa. It is actually a lizard. If you look at it right. genetically, it is a lizard, but it is legless, okay? <laughs> It is one of 153 new species that were discovered by scientists in 2023. You may remember we did this story last year right. for 2020, and we'll get to that in just a okay. moment. But first of all, here you go. Here's what they found this year. 66 unknown spiders, 20 sea slugs. <laughs> That's going to make a lot of people very nervous. Right? 18 <laughs> plants, 13 sea stars, 12 geckos, 10 beetles, 5 fishes, 4 worms, 2 wasps, a sea snail, a scorpion, and the legless skink, which uh, we just saw. And a partridge? Okay. Almost a good, good one, Chris. And then here was last year's list. Hey, we beat last year. Yep. That brings the total in the past two years to 299 never before known or seen species, okay? <laughs> Which as the researchers say, it really underscores how vast and dynamic the planet really is sure. where there's so much stuff to still learn, okay? That's part of it. And also that they must document this stuff because it's essentially threatened. It, it's not a very large population mm -hmm. in most instances to begin with and then you've got Pollution, you've got global sure. warming, you've got, you know, every, loss of habitat, just all, all of them. So it's important, Chris, because there are things that are important to our lives that come from plants and animals, sure. including medicines. Who knows what cure may reside in some of these things? So that's why it's important to document it before it's gone. Right. Okay? So the skink could prove to be valuable, is what you're saying. It I would could. love to know who came up with the word skink. It is an interesting okay. uh, thing. If the computer will cooperate, and Come I suspect on, that it may jump ahead on its own, which is always frightening. There it is. Here it is. Chimpanzees. I've been watching a lot of videos about chimpanzees lately. I'm sure that that's why this story caught my attention, okay? okay. But here's the thing about chimps. Humans and chimps are the closest relatives when you look at the entire animal okay. kingdom, okay? 98.8% of a chimp's DNA is the same as our DNA. Somewhere six to eight million years ago, we and chimps had a common ancestor. Hasn't been found yet, but we did. Okay. Okay, and I've been watching these videos because their behaviors are so much like ours. I saw this video, Chris, and you've got to listen to this. It was some tropical setting, you could tell by the foliage. This guy's sitting at a table with a bowl of soup. He picks up a piece of bread, dips it in the soup, eats it, p dips it again, eats the bread, pushes the bowl to the chimp, lays the bread on the table, and the chimp picks up the bread, dips it in the soup. <laughs> Mirrors. It, you, know, you know, it's really remarkable. I mean, maybe it was rehearsed, maybe sure. it was trained, who knows? But if it was just on the fly, remarkable, right. okay? So here's another one of those remarkable stories about chimps, if the computer will cooperate, and it probably won't. <laughs> so I'll tell you what the story okay. is, okay? These chimps and bonobos are able to recognize faces they haven't seen for decades. So what they actually did was they showed them pictures side by side of a stranger and the chimp or bonobo that they knew, and they tracked their eye motions. And they would spend significantly more time looking at the chimp or the bonobo they knew from their past. In one instance, the chimp hadn't seen that chimp for 28 years and still recognized it. And if they couldn't remember the name, then I know we shared DNA because that happens to me all the time. <laughs> right. yes. all right.